All right, now in this video and the next couple of videos, we are looking at PERT problems for project management, for building schedules and network diagrams. Uh, so you'll see here, we have our table of dependencies with some familiar information. We have our activity, we have the predecessors, but normally we would have uh, uh, the activity duration. But here instead we're seeing TA, TM, and TB. So what these are, TA is our most optimistic duration, TM is our most probable duration, and TB is our most pessimistic duration, which we can use these. Uh, there's a formula that we can use to get the mean, which is our expected duration, and then also the variance and the standard deviation for each activity. So here are the formulas for the mean, variance, and standard deviation. So for expected duration, which is also the mean, we would have the formula being TA plus 4TM plus TB all over 6. So for the case uh, for activity A, we would have uh, 2, which is TA, plus 4 times TM, so 4 times 4. Uh, so here we can even do this in the case of activity A. Mean is TA, so we had 2 plus 4 times TM, so plus 4 times 4, plus TB, which is 9. And that is all divided by 6. So if you just punch that in your calculator, you'll get the mean is 4.5. This is our expected duration. So knowing that our most probable, uh, based on you know our experience or someone's given this, this uh, uh, most probable duration was 4, the most optimistic was 2, and the most pessimistic was 9. Uh, for the purposes of PERT, our most or our expected duration uh, with this formula will be 4.5. And we're just assuming this is days or minutes or whatever the unit is given to you. For the, these problems, it'll usually be in days. All right. Uh, then so for variance, we would have... Uh, Again, we can just apply this for activity A. We would have variance is equal to TB minus TA. So we would have uh, 9 minus 2. There we go. All divided by 6. And then you want to square that whole thing. And uh, if you do that, if you punch it in your calculator, you will find that we are going to get a variance of 1.36. Now, you will need this variance for later problems uh, to do with PERT, so just keep it around for now. You always want to calculate that. So we have 1.36. And then standard deviation literally just take the square root of that and you will get a value of uh, 1.17 there you go alright so we would put that in for activity A so what you can do then is you can use these formulas and you can find out the the expected duration of each activity the variance and the standard deviation and so they are all down here as follows so there you go I encourage you to try out some of these yourself using these equations and I will see you in the next video and we will start drawing network diagrams for PERT problems.